After the COVID-19 pandemic wiped out their 2020 season, the VFLW Bombers reunited for season 2021 with a new sense of gratitude for the game, their teammates and their club. 12 months without footy posed its challenges, but with an extended off-season came opportunity. And it was clear from the outset that the Bombers were well prepared to achieve something special in their third VFLW season. An air of excitement swept across the NEC hangar in pre-season, with former AFLW players Mia Ray Clifford and Jesse Davies arriving at the club to enhance an already talented list. Reigning best and fairest winner Georgia Nanscorn took the reins as captain, while head coach Brendan Major kept the stability ahead of his third season at the helm. Nothing is set in stone. It's a brand new season, it's really exciting, but we're all here to earn that round one spot from coaches to staff to players. It's really freaking exciting to be playing games, all right? But we've got to earn that spot. So let's go tonight, let's go. <laughs> Round one saw the Bombers make history in their first home game at the NEC hangar, with the newly built state-of-the-art women's facilities forming the backdrop. And in round three, after a 28-point victory over Hawthorne, the team proudly sang the song for the first time in their new locker room. What a goal by Fruit! A strong start had the Bombers placed in the top four at the halfway mark, until a challenging period put a halt to their momentum. And Fruit puts it through the middle! Three consecutive defeats had the team in serious danger of missing finals, before a lockdown put a pause on the season. After a four-week break, a reinvigorated Essendon returned to claim dominant victories over Williamstown and Darabin, cementing its spot in the top six and securing a maiden finals berth. Congratulations. End of the home away season. Fantastic. And what's exciting is we're not done. Up first was Casey on enemy territory, a side the Bombers held no fears about after conquering the Demons at the same venue in round two. In a tense gripping elimination final, Lauren Aaron's goal in the dying minutes proved the difference in a thrilling three-point win, sparking scenes of jubilation on the final siren. Now the team had another challenge, facing the undefeated Collingwood at Victoria Park. Bombers all day! One, two, three, Bombers! In a tight affair, the Pies held on for a seven-point victory. But a second chance gave the Bombers another opportunity to advance to the grand final. Then, at an empty, windy hill, a determined Bombers side took on Geelong in a prelim final. Despite being level at half-time, the experience of the Cats proved too strong as they ran away with a 28-point victory, drawing the curtain on the Bombers' season. Words cannot describe how proud I am of this group. You have done an amazing effort. We lay everything on the line. You have zero regrets as a group. In what was a history-making season on the field, it was clear Essendon's women's program was also advancing off it. Seven players were selected in the AFLW draft highlighting how, under Brendan Major's guidance, Essendon was developing the next generation of female footballers. But a further endorsement for the professionalism of Essendon's women's program was the announcement that the Bombers would enter the AFLW in 2022. If this year was a sign of what's to come, then the future of women's football in Essendon is looking very bright indeed. <laughs>